Hi, I'm Vicki Mates, and I'm a park ranger here at Yosemite National Park. Over the years, I've taken the opportunity to hike many of the trails that are in and around Yosemite Valley. And I can tell you that there is no shortage of strenuous hiking options for you to experience during your time here. The geography of this glacially carved valley features steep granite walls, which lend themselves nicely to hilly hiking. There are several hiking corridors that leave the valley floor and wind their way up to the rim via granite steps and switchbacks. But for this video today, I'll be focusing on three trail options for you. The Mist Trail to the top of Nevada Fall, the Panorama Trail, and the Upper Yosemite Fall Trail. First, I'll describe the Mist Trail to the top of Nevada Fall. Allow five to six hours for the seven mile round trip, which gains about 2,000 feet in elevation. The first part of this trail is mostly paved and travels alongside the Merced River until you arrive at the Vernal Fall footbridge. From here, you'll travel up hundreds of granite steps to the top of Vernal Fall. Be prepared for a tremendous amount of waterfall spray in the spring and early summer. From here, continue a mile or so up another series of granite steps to the top of Nevada Fall, where you can enjoy the sights and sounds of the Merced River plummeting over the brink of the fall. For portions of this hike, you can also choose the John Muir Trail, which bypasses Vernal Fall. Sections of both of these trails are closed in winter due to hazardous conditions from snow and ice. Check at a visitor center for the most current conditions. Now let's explore the Panorama Trail. This trail continues from the top of Nevada Fall, past Illouette Fall, and onto Glacier Point. A popular way to do this eight and a half mile trail is to start from the top and hike down. You might get a ride from a friend or a family member, or you could also purchase a one-way tour ticket and ride the bus from Yosemite Lodge to Glacier Point. Allow about six hours for this one-way hike. As the name suggests, along this trail, you will discover amazing panoramic views of Yosemite Valley, high mountain peaks, and several different perspectives of Half Dome. The first two miles from Glacier Point is a downhill trek to Illilouette Fall. This is the first part of your 3,000 foot descent to the valley floor. But the trail is not all downhill. Once you cross the bridge at Illilouette Fall, expect an uphill climb out of the creek drainage. One great thing about this trail is that it brings you into Yosemite's wilderness, where you are far from roads, buildings, and the buzz of human activity. Take your time and savor this unique experience. You can help take care of these beautiful areas by packing out all of your trash, even apple cores, orange peels, and tissues. Leave no trace of your visit through this wilderness. Continuing on the trail, you will eventually reach a junction where you can take a short detour to the top of Nevada Fall. From there, you can decide whether to take the next three to four miles to return to the valley floor via the Mist or John Muir Trail. The Mist Trail will keep you next to the water, but it's steeper with many granite steps. The John Muir Trail is a less steep series of switchbacks that travels away from the river and is a bit longer hike.
The last trail that I'll talk about is the Upper Yosemite Fall Trail. This seven mile round trip hike takes you to the top of Upper Yosemite Fall. The combination of Upper Fall, Lower Fall, and Middle Cascade makes up North America's tallest waterfall at 2,425 feet. Yosemite Creek and the falls are fed by melting snow from the higher elevations. So when the snow is gone, the creek and the falls dry up. This is usually in mid to late summer. Allow six to eight hours for this hike and be sure to take sunscreen and plenty of water. From the trail start behind Camp 4, the Upper Yosemite Fall Trail winds up dozens of switchbacks to an overlook called Columbia Rock. The trail continues up and around a corner to a stunning view of Upper Yosemite Fall. Remember to stay on the established trail. Shortcutting can lead to areas with unstable footing where you could potentially fall. At the top, you'll descend a series of granite steps to a railing that provides a breathtaking view. No matter which strenuous hiking option you choose in Yosemite Valley, you will find breathtaking views and get a great workout. For your wellness and safety, be sure to pack plenty of food and water, wear sturdy, comfortable hiking shoes, take a map and a flashlight, and bring extra layers of clothing to be prepared for sudden changes in weather. See you on the trail.